What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back from my weekly video, my good and bad video for this week. This one we're going to be doing the good and bad of Enid from The Walking Dead. Besides the whispers. Okay guys, so it's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one we're going to be doing the uh, good and bad of Enid from The Walking Dead. So, this one was suggested by Dylan George, so of course shout out to him. And uh, yeah, I definitely am very, very excited to get into this uh, this good and bad video. So, Enid was introduced in The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 12, Remember, and of course killed off in The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 15. Now, uh, I think that's a decent amount of time to, you know, to survive uh, in, you know, a series. That's, you know, uh, I mean, four, um, yeah, four years... Uh, uh, in, uh, I'm, well, yeah, pretty much, yeah, four years in the Walking Dead series, um, or no, actually, hang on a second, uh, no, five years. Okay, wow. So, um, yeah, that's actually really crazy. So, Enid has actually survived for pretty much about, at least over, like, half the Walking Dead series, which is really cool. And, um, Enid is always a character that I've looked at, uh, looked at as kind of like the replacement of Sophia. Um, in the TV series and in the comics, Sophia survives longer, and, you know, I'm sure for the people that read the comics, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, she's introduced in Season 5, Episode 12, and I was really, really kind of, uh, skeptical of her at first. I, was, I, I wasn't really sure what they were going to do with her because uh, a lot of people thought she was going to be a spy for the wolves. Uh, she she wasn't. And uh, my first bad decision for her is that she just goes out there in the middle, of, like just in the world. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, like she, she really... She really is kind of just acting reckless, like really just acting reckless all around. And Carl even follows her out there because, you know, he likes her and stuff, but also because he's probably wondering like, okay, we don't, I, I, you know, I don't want to see anybody else get killed. You know, I want to make sure she's okay if she's going out there, you know? And, um, yeah, just bad decision from Enid just to go out there. Now, uh, another bad decision from Enid is actually to, um, uh, be with Ron because I mean, honestly, I mean, Ron himself is just a terrible, like, like, I remember the scene when Carl's like, Ron's a good guy, right? And Enid's like, he is. It's like, no, he's not. He's absolutely horrible, you know? Uh, and you get to know that later on. But, um, anyway, so that's that. But, uh, the beginning of the relationship between, uh, uh, her and Carl, I thought was really good. And, you know, her being in a relationship with Carl, I think is definitely a good decision. I think those two really fit. Um, and I think it makes sense. Now, um, basically, uh, we have the flashbacks of the death of her parents, which I thought was really sad. Uh, she basically is uh, surviving. She eats a turtle, and uh, she finds Alexandria, and she decides to uh, stay at Alexandria. So, good decision on her part to actually go to Alexandria and actually, yeah, like, not turn back around, actually go in and, uh, you know, uh, stay there. So, uh, you got the just survive somehow. Basically, we find that out through that backstory. And uh, I like the backstory. I thought it was really good for her character. And uh, basically, we get to see her uh, leave during the wolves attack. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to say another bad decision. Her leaving again is just really not justified at all. But one good thing she did is helping Glenn out and giving him the water, even though, of course, um, the, the first bottle of water she just throws and it, it doesn't really work out. But uh, she does give Glenn water. She keeps Glenn, uh, you know, hydrated and stuff after the dumpster situation. So, um, Definitely a very good decision from Enid's uh, on Enid's part to uh, to help Glenn out uh, after uh, the uh, the dumpster. So that's very good as well. Um, now basically they they're gonna go and uh, save Maggie in this one uh, in the No Way Out situation. And uh, her pouting uh, pouting and being like you know uh, this is you know uh, you know the the world is trying to die. We, we, you know we should just let it. Uh, at first time watching it, I didn't like it. I found it to be weird. But I've rewatched it since, and I can honestly say that I think um, uh, Caitlin Nacon uh, does a really good job at. Uh, uh, really, her scenes are very believable. They really are. They, she really does a good job of, uh, you know, um, doing a really good job with the emotional scenes uh, and uh, really, you know, uh, just really hitting home, I think, honestly. So I give props to the actress for that. But uh, basically, um, they save Maggie, of course. Glenn almost dies for like the 50th time. And uh, of course, Abraham and Sasha come in and all that kind of stuff. And then we have the time skip after No Way Out of a couple months. And uh, at least I, I believe it was a couple months. And uh, she kind of, uh, you know, Maggie and uh, Maggie 
Maggie and Glenn kind of become almost like, you know, parents for her a little bit, um, at least for a little while until Negan shows up. And, uh, you know, of course, because then Glenn goes down. But basically what ends up happening is that uh, we get to see uh, Enid and she is, uh, I, I guess, I guess wanting to help Carl go, you know, after the saviors and stuff like that. And of course, she gets locked in a closet. So, um, I mean, honestly, uh, no decisions were made from her here. So I'm not going to say anything there. But in season five, she decides to go see, uh, you know, um, tries to go see Maggie at Hilltop. And uh, her and Carl on the scenes with them, I, I actually like those scenes with uh, her and Carl in uh, season seven, episode five. Uh, I did cut it out of my rewrite if you guys haven't been watching those, but uh, just mainly for time purposes. But, um, you know, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll still actually see those scenes. I, you know, maybe I'm just putting it out of order. Who knows? But um, yeah, now obviously one thing I, I don't like and another bad decision from Enid is the roller skates. I mean, honestly, if you have some zombies that come up to you, I mean, you are screwed. You know, honestly, that's that's the one thing I'll say. But I still like how we saw a little bit of her and Carl. So we have the kiss scene. Carl goes, she goes to see Maggie. And uh, yeah, I really like her at Hilltop with Maggie. I thought that was a really good decision to go and, uh, you know, see Maggie. Um, and basically uh, that is that. And she's pretty much a Hilltop the entire season. And she doesn't do too much but she's there basically. Now, um, we get to also see her in season eight. She goes with, um, Aaron to Oceanside to make sure they win basically during All Out War. Uh, and, uh, I really like to how, now you could say her killing, uh, the grandma at Oceanside was, uh, you know, maybe a little too quick and maybe whatever. I actually agree with it. I actually get it. She was a threat and she took out the threat and saved Aaron. Um, I, you could say it was a little quick and it was the filming for that scene was horrible, but, uh, I still, I still really actually kind of I actually like that side of Enid because she protected Aaron. She saved him. And honestly, that she doesn't feel sorry for it. And honestly, I get it. I actually do. Um, now, basically, uh, Aaron decides he's going to stay back. Really dumb decision. But it does work out in the end, I guess. Um, and she goes back to a hilltop. And then this is when uh, she finds out that Carl is dead. So definitely really feel bad for her. And uh, yeah, I you know definitely a really, uh, really emotional scene for her. Now, um, we get to see her in season nine working with Sadiq, of course, after the time skip. She's kind of taken on that doctor role. And uh, we also have uh, the uh, the uh, cutting off of you know Aaron's arm. So all that stuff was good, good decisions there. And then we get the big time skip. So. We find out that her and uh, Alden are together, and this, I just, I, I'm not gonna say it's a bad decision for the character, because, I mean, who cares? She's in a relationship, fine, good for her. But I'm talking about watching it, I could not care less about the relationship, honestly. I just don't like Alden and Enid together. Uh, maybe it's me as a comic fan, and like, you know, she's supposed to be with Carl, but... I just don't find they go well together. I, I don't. I don't find Alden and Enid really go well together as a couple. And I find that as soon as Enid's head is on a pike, Alden, yeah, he's mad throughout season 10, but we don't really get to focus on how he's feeling. Like, it, it feels like it was like a last minute decision that they did to have them be in a relationship. Uh, and, you know, Angela kind of just rolled with it. You know, I, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm wrong, you know, but I just feel like it, it, it wasn't thought out well enough. And it, the execution wasn't that great of the two of them together. So, um, but that's just my personal opinion. So, uh, we have the death of Enid, of course, and uh, I mean, really, that's that. So I did not really ever think that her head would have been uh, on a pike. Uh, even a couple years before that, um, as a comic reader, I would have never guessed that Enid's head would have been on a pike because at the time, I thought she was going to be with Carl like way later. So, um, but it kind of feels like they didn't know what to do with her. Like they they tried to have her be something in season nine. They tried to give her some time. And then by the end, they're like, ah, screw it, put her on a pike, you know? Um, so I was a little disappointed in season nine Enid. I'm going to be honest, but uh, I do like her character. I really, really do. Caitlin does a great job as uh, Enid. And uh, yeah, those are the good and bad decisions from Enid, guys. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Of course, guys, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.